What's up everybody, Chris Gethin here and welcome to our brand new 12 week daily video trainer where I'm not gonna be transforming during the 12 weeks, but my two victims, I mean clients, will be transforming as well. So make sure that you follow along. Doesn't matter if you're male, female, young, old, beginner or advanced, if you want to see the exact same success as these two clients are. So follow along every single day. I'm Chris Gethin, peace. I am an electronic musician and a full-time DJ. Um, I've been working out seriously and consistently for probably around three years. Really, I want to be pushed to a place where I've never been before, like physically and mentally. So I have been somewhat lean before and I kind of fell off track on that lifestyle and I want to know what it's like to be pushed extremely far because I know what I think is being pushed is probably nothing in comparison to what you know someone who's top level is being pushed. Watching myself I expect to see um, you know working hard every week making the most out of every second of this transformation, getting the best I can out of each and every uh, workout. I only have I only have 12 weeks to do this, so it's gonna be, it's all in. My name is Kai Wachi, I'm 24 years old, and I'm ready to transform. My name is Danielle Smith, I'm 31 years old, and I'm ready to transform. 15, come on, last five, easy. 16, good, you got this. Yay, perfect, lovely. Now I want you to stretch in between the sets, okay? So you can lean up against like the bike there and pull your foot back. So I don't want your foot touching your butt. I need it out like that. That's it, good, okay? Hold that for about 15 seconds and then go again. Six, that's it, hit my hands every time. Good, and again, there's 19. One more, one more. Push! Good, easy. Five, four, Three, two, yes, good, easy. All right, so what you're gonna do first, Danielle, you are gonna start on this exercise, this uh, squat machine. Kai, you're gonna be on the leg press, and then what we're gonna do is swap after you've all done your sets on here. We're gonna be working at around 20 to 30 repetitions here, a lot of intensity, keeping the rest period short. And the reason why I'm doing this is because you're both gonna be using entirely different weight. So instead of like having to unrack the weight and put it back on and lose a lot of that intensity, we'll keep the intensity here on these stations. On the way down, that's it. Hamstrings parallel and then back up. Try not to lock your knees out at the top. Straight back down, that's it. About fist, uh, shoulder width distance apart, that's it. Toes okay. pointing out just ever so slightly. No, a little bit less than that. That's it, good. That's it, perfect, there. Hamstrings and calves are at a right angle, then straight back up. And I want you to drive through your heels and not your toes. Activate your glutes and your hamstrings, take a little pressure off your knees at the moment. Okay, two more. All right, rack it. Good, keep that back straight. Good, keep your form tight. Good, perfect, okay. Drop it. If you can control the negative, you can definitely get out that positive on that first repetition. So you always use that as a gauge, just to activate your tendons, your ligaments, and fire your muscle fibers. 20? 20 repetitions, buddy, never anything less. Five, put your hands on the handles. Four, three, two, yes, good, perfect. Good set, buddy. Breath before you go down. Exhale on the way up. It'll just help keep everything tight around your torso, okay? Three, two, one, yep. Three and down, no stopping at the top. Eight, how bad do you want it? Let's go, this is your opportunity. And you're halfway, let's do this. Three, two, one, let's go. Push, up, and again, go. All the way, squeeze, 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 push. That's it, good. That's it, rock it, come on, push. Come on, your head's given out before your muscles. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. 18, 19, good, perfect. That's what I like to see. Good. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Okay, rackets, good. Need failure to succeed, my man. Okay, you got 20 in here, buddy. This is, this is, this is our starting weight. This is your warm-up weight again. Easy. Good, perfect. 
Nice. So I like to see an extra rep. Once you've unracked it, I want you to bring your feet right up to the top here. Okay, so we're gonna be working your glutes and hamstrings a little more. So I want your feet right up here. Yeah, now walk your feet to the top for me. Okay, go down nice and slowly. Okay, and then back up there. That's it, hands on the handle there. Two, good. Three, two, one. Okay, good, rack it. Keep your back nice and flat. There, and back up. Two, don't go down too far. Three, that's it. Stick your butt out, four, and drive through your heels. One more, lock out, good, perfect. You disengage your muscles a lot out of habit at the top or at the lockout of a movement. So when you were on here, you were doing the same thing. We had come up, disengage, and back down. Disengage, and back down. Don't lock out, and don't pause, don't stop. So you've got to go straight down. When you exhaust yourself and you reach absolute failure and you cannot do another fucking repetition and you haven't got to your 20, then you can rest, pause. Come on, and again, 16, push through your heels. There, come on, one more. Perfect, good, rack it. Give me a rep, push, good. And again, give me a rep, push. You got this, and again, come on. Good, rack it. Hey, you got this, come on, let's go. Nine, dig deep. One, come on, one more, one more, one more. Let's go, lock it, good. So what we're gonna be doing, on every day of this workout, they're gonna be doing cardio uh, in the morning. They'll be doing an AM cardio session. Today on leg day though, we don't do that. I want them to save all their energy for this leg workout because they're beginning their workout about 10.30, 11 o'clock in the morning. So on this particular day, they'll always be doing their cardio post-workout just to get rid of the lactic acid in their legs, shuttle the protein that they're gonna have from the recaged into that localized area so they can recover because they're gonna be sore, you know, but I need them to walk to the gym or walk into the gym tomorrow and the days following. So uh, they gotta recover. So the post-workout cardio will really, really help there. So up, hold, and then slowly down. That's it. So a lot of the muscles that you don't see in the mirror is gonna rely on visualization, you know? So you have to visualize how this muscle works. Squeeze, that's it, good. Okay, good, perfect. All right, jump off then, my man. Keep your back down. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Two, that's it, good. One more, one more for me, that's all you. Perfect, good. 13, 14, give me some more, give me some more. And again, all the way down. Two more. Good set, buddy, good set. Come on, come on, come on. This is a lightweight, you got this. Get your head into it now, come on. Don't let your head fail. One more, good, perfect. So from beginning to end, I need you to replicate this. All the way up, real high, full range of motion. Slowly down, push up, slowly down. Push up, I pause at the top for a second. Five, four, hold it, three, hold it, two, good, perfect. Come on, let's go. One more, good, perfect. 15, higher, higher. 16, right onto your toes, 17. Ooh, don't stop there, buddy, let's go. Come on, three more, three more. And one more, good, perfect, that's it. Great stuff. 18, here we go. One more, all the way up, all the way up. Squeeze, good, that's it, perfect. So what I'm making sure they do is stretch in between the sets of especially doing carbs. You have a very thick webbing of fascia in the carbs, which does prevent the calf from developing a lot of the time. So I wanna make sure that we keep manipulating and stretching that out. Stretching in between the sets here, stretching when you're at home, maybe using some trigger point therapy or massage just to ensure that this webbing, this fascia, has some elasticity into it so we can have more room provided for the muscle to grow. Okay, so what I want you to do, hands on your temples, just taking the weight of your head, not behind, okay? And what I want you to do is come up, breathe out at the same time, exhale all your air from the diaphragm so you can better contract your abs. And I want both your elbows to touch both your knees and then go back down, okay? Nice and slow, no jerking with this movement. Okay, up. 
That's it, and down. Two, good. Go, go. Two more. Good, and one more. Good, perfect, nice. Is that okay? Keep going. Okay, this is the alternative exercise. You're gonna put your hands on your thighs, and you're gonna come up over your knees, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. That's it, and down. 15, come on, how bad do you want those abs? 16, we need to reveal them. 17, that's it, you can hold on to your hamstrings if you want. That's it, work the negatives by yourself. Work the negatives by yourself. So pull up, take your hands out now on the way down. That's it, give me two more like that. Take your hands out on the way down. Okay, one more, all the way up, all the way up. Good, hands out, perfect, good, come on. And again, come on, last two. One more. Go, go. Perfect. Awesome. Good man. 16. Easy. No stopping now. No stopping. 17. And again, no stopping. 18. Work the negative. And again. Come on, come on. One more. Perfect. Good. Easy. Lovely. You're going to have your hands on your head, okay? You're going to come up with your feet over your head and then back down. Just about an inch before it hits the floor, you go back up. And breathe out at the bottom before coming up. Breathe out, slowly. Nice and slow with those reps to my count, okay? Hold it, hold it. Up, breathe out, six, that's it. All the way overhead. Let's go, seven, perfect, that's better. Two more, two more. 14, and one more. Good, you got one more, Danielle. Okay, perfect, that's it. Like that, just arc your back and just stretch out your abs as much as you can. Let's try to take it to 15, come on, 13. And again, breathe, 14, one more, one more. Good, perfect, awesome. Woohoo! First day, done and dusted. It's very common for people in the first couple of weeks of going through one of my transformations to get sick because your immune system just goes to shit because it's just trying to recover from this annihilation, so it puts everything else on the back burner. All right, that is a wrap for day one here with Kai and Daniel. Both did really, really well. We didn't put out a crap load of sets. The workout was relatively quick because the first week, they're gonna be exceptionally sore anyway. Their immune system's gonna be uh, compromised as well, so we don't wanna overdo it, uh, even though they're probably thinking we did overdo it at the moment. I'd say we got a long way to go, but it's gonna be promising because if they're mentally strong, then a physique will follow. So we'll keep an eye on that and uh, get these updated every so often and keep revisiting that.